This is the site called Kahawachi, which is one of the largest adobe complexes of antiquity located close to Nazca, Peru, and first inhabited by the famous Paracas culture, and later by the Nazca. What it consists of is a number of huge pyramidal structures, only two of which have presently been excavated by an Italian team. But uh, it's a huge complex that goes on for miles and miles. The hills that you will be seeing in the background are in fact ancient pyramidal structures. Kahawachi is about a half hour drive from the city of Nazca. The road is very rough, but if you manage to get there, it's well worth the experience. That is the so-called Temple of the Sun, which is the largest complex excavated so far. And this gives you a little more detail of that same so-called Temple of the Sun. Again, made up of adobe bricks and a huge complex, one of the largest not only in Peru, but in fact in the world. And now, relatively nearby, is an ancient graveyard that we visited of the Paracas culture, as well as the Nazca, the Wadi, and even the Inca, right next to modern cultivated fields that go back in time as well. So now we're going to go and have more of a close-up look at some of the artifacts that have been left behind including human remains, of course. Hopefully you're not too squeamish about seeing this. And this cemetery is huge in scale, covering the course of most likely about 2,000 years. And more detail of some of the illegal excavations done at this ancient cemetery. The archaeologists so far, I believe, have simply ignored it because they don't recognize it as being necessarily that important to find. Here in more detail you see some textiles, broken pottery, and human remains. This is the first time that I ever visited this location, approximately a year ago. And farther along, deeper into the desert, are these petroglyphs created by the Paracas culture, those people who had elongated skulls. They're relatively simple, but quite plentiful. This is a side valley, uh, very difficult to get to. I had to hire two drivers with a four-wheel drive to be able to uh, take me to see this, but for me it was well worth it since I am a student of the ancient Paracas culture. There you see a cat in the middle of the frame. Cats were very popular amongst the Paracas for some reason, as well as serpent shapes. So here we see more petroglyphs. You can use your own imagination to try to figure out what it is you're looking at. That appears to be a human face in the bottom right, and other human stick figures. Again, quite primitive, but important historically. And more humanoid looking figures, um, some animal shapes. And there's that human face on the right hand side again. These are large boulders. Um, carvings were also done in the sides of some of the walls.
And as we continued walking, we kept encountering more and more of these ancient petroglyphs. Nobody was there on the day that we visited because very few people, in fact, know that these exist at all. And these are at least 2,000, if not 2,500 years old. And finally, coming up to see some more of the uh, petroglyphs of this area, again created by the ancient Paracas culture, who preceded the more famous Nazca people. There again you see human figures, some abstract shapes, some animal figures, etc. we have for 2021. In March we're returning to Egypt to explore basically the entire country. Then in June we have the Inca Celebration of the Sun tour called Inti Raimi, exploring both Peru and Bolivia. In August we have the Megaliths and Ancient Spirituality of Peru and Bolivia tour. And finally, in November, our annual Peru and Bolivia Explore the Mysteries of Tour, November 2021.